Welcome back to question number four of the 2016 AP Computer Science A free response questions. These are the release problems from College Board um, from earlier this week. So these are my very well, these are my impressions or how I would solve these particular problems. This is just for review, um, just to see how your answers compare. So no, problem number four was probably my second favorite problem on this um, set. I thought it was very clever on how it was written, but it did take me a little bit to figure out, hey, what are they really asking? So let's dive in to see how everything really looks. So um, this takes, an, uh, so if we look at the opening line of the question, this question involves taking a, uh, involves the process of taking a list of words called words list. So I have an array of words, okay, and before I even get started, is it an array or an array list? Okay, it's a list list. Okay, so it's an array list, so we're, that's kind of important. I scrolled too far there. Um, the, uh, and producing a formatted string of particular length. Um, okay, so it has to have at least two words. Okay, that's very helpful for me because that means that we'll always have spaces. So um, at this particular point in time, um, I'm going to skim over everything before I start coding, but I really want to understand what's going on. So I look at this. I have a I have example one AP comp psi rocks, and they have a length of 20. Okay, so zero 20, and they put everything in, and they're evenly spacing it. Okay, so it kind of expands. Um, I guess this is like justified spacing, um, if you use Word. And then I look at this one. Like what happens if they're not evenly divided by? Oh, two, two, one. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Now this one here doesn't make my, um, doesn't really help me at all. Just saying, okay, we put everything on this end and everything on this end. So my very first thing was like, okay, how do I line one and then go to the next one, line to the next one, and go back and forth? And I was going to do the do the ends of them and build them up uh, correctly until I had the right spot. But then I thought that's dumb. Um, what we just need to do is we need to calculate what's going on, and I really figured that out once I read part A. So I'm sorry if I became a little incoherent there. Um, I was just trying to say what I'm thinking. So, um, so what we're going to do is write the string formatter method total letters, cool, which returns a total number of letters in the words in the parameter word list. Okay, cool. So all we're to doing is totaling up how many number or how many letters are in there. So if we look at this, we say we have a list with a frog is. If we total them all up, that equals seven. That's really easy because I know that there's a thing called dot length. So let's go into our problem, and we're just going to get all the total, all the words in here. So we're going to do create a thing called answer. We're going to make answer equal to zero. And I'm going to use a for each loop. So everything in string s colon, and I'm going to do word list. Then all I have to do is answer plus equals s dot length. I return answer. So I just added them all up. That's really easy. So I I think that this problem here should be the number one uh, should be in problem number one because I think that most people would be able to get this particular problem so, or this particular part of this problem. Now the next part is basic gap width. So let's see what that's all about. So let's scroll down to B. Okay, right there, Beth, method go there that returns the the basic gap width as defined earlier. So if we still don't understand how gap width works. Okay, if I look at this one, gap, they're all two, so that must be two. But this one here is the most intriguing one to me because I have two, two twos and I have one one. But it's the lowest one of those numbers. So what this tells me is if I take the amount of spaces that I'm going to have, so in this particular case I have five, and divide it by how many um, sections I'll actually need, which is three, um, five divided by three is one using the integer division. So that will tell me the basic gap width. But a couple things that I'm only given is I'm only given the length of my formatted string. So an easy way of doing that is I do have something in there that will tell me how many letters are in the um, and all the on the word list, which 
I took as a huge hint because that's what they asked me to do in the very first section. So I'm going to use that. And I'm sure that you'll get a point for that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called spaces. And spaces is the formatted length minus the total letters of word lists. Okay, so this will tell me exactly what's going on there. Now, how many spaces do I need? Os is pretty is pretty easy to figure out. Um, if I have four words, I'm going to need three. If I have five words, I'm going to need four. So it's going to be however many words minus one. So uh, um, I'm going to say num of gaps, and that's going to be word list dot size minus one. Now this, at this particular point in time, it's just returning the spaces divided by the num of gaps. Ta-da! We should be actually done uh, with this. So let's just double check that we're okay with that. Let me keep on going down. Um, right there, which returns the basic gap width as defined earlier. No, that should be fine. So let's move on to C. Okay, and we see we have to use total letters in this one to receive full credit, so that's okay. Now in this one here in C, write the the method format. So we're actually going to be doing everything that we just did which returns the formatted string as defined earlier. Okay, cool. Now, what I would need to do with this is I need to figure out how many spaces we're gonna have. So, um, in this particular one, I am going to first have how many, uh, basic gap, and the basic gap is equal to basic gap width I just need to pass in the word list and the formatted length. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to create a um, leftovers variable. And in that, we're just going to get the leftover spaces. Now, please don't confuse what I did right here. I just included the particular methods. This way, uh, Eclipse wouldn't give me an error when I wrote it and confuse me. So, but you're gonna already you already have that in, um, and it already works as intended. So even though I just put a return zero in there, don't really worry about it. So we do leftover spaces. So this will tell me how many I have left. So in the other, when we go back up to this particular question, where is it? I'm in crossword again, sorry. Green eggs and ham, my leftover spaces are two. So I do one, 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 and then I have two leftovers. So one here and one there. So that's okay. Uh, my first thing is, is I want to build a new string. So I'm going to create a string called answer. I'm going to also initialize it to be an empty string instead of a null string. And actually the very first thing I really should be doing is I'm going to be adding in the word list dot get zero because I know for a fact there is at least two words in this list. So I ver I just started it. So now I'm going to go through every element of the um, list with the exception of the very first one because I've already added it to the answer. Well, well I is less than word list dot size I plus plus and now I'm going to deal with the spaces because I already have the word in the answer. I have my very first word in the answer, so I just have to put some spaces in there. So this is going to be my spaces loop. And then we are going to do 4 and j is equal to 0. Well, j is less than basic gap, j++. And I'm just going to add a space to it. So I'm going to do answer plus equals a space. Perfect. Now I have to add in if there's an extra space. So we're going to be doing an if statement here. So if there's one extra space, 
um, then we're going to be applying to there uh, the first one. So if i is less than or equal to leftovers, we're going to add a space, and I don't like. I'm not going to put that. But I'm just going to do answer plus equals space. Now, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to then add the last part of this, which would be word list dot get i. Now this adds it in at the end uh, of the of the of the loop. So this way, if I put the last word in, I'm no longer putting spaces or trailing spaces in my string. So I do everything in between. That's why I had to do this one at the beginning. Now you could have done this the opposite way, putting everything in, but you needed to stop it a little early um, and then just tack on the last one. So I did it the opposite way of putting the first one in, doing my spaces, and then putting my word. At the very end of this, you just have to return answer. And once you return answer, you are done and completed with the AP exam. So this is question number four. Um, this is probably, I personally think this is the easiest one, only because it's the most, um, it deals with strings and a very, and strings and array lists in a very um, standard way. So hopefully you guys did really well, and I hope that this video helps. And if there's any questions, please leave a question in the comments, and hopefully I'll get to it as soon as I can. Um, and have a great day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.